Hello boys and girls, uh, this is a just a quick tutorial, but it's a very important tutorial, a uh, very important lesson. Um, and this is a key concept. This is something that in order for you to be successful in math, both in fractions and dealing with decimals, this is something you've got to know. Um, and that's looking at percent fraction equivalents. So let's just take a second. If we think of 20%, think of in terms of a dollar again. So 20% of a dollar if you want to look at it that way, is um, looking at this is that there are five, right? It'd be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, correct? So here, 20% is equal to one-fifth. So that's something you need to know. 20% is always going to be one-fifth. 30% is going to be, looking at 30% would be 3 over 10. Okay, 3 tenths. 40%, remember 20, 40, so if 20% is one-fifth, 40 is going to be two-fifths, okay? So 20 and 40, two-fifths. 50%, we all know, is equal to one-half, okay? 60%, we've got 20, 40. If 20 is one-fifth and 40 is two-fifths, then 60 must be, you got it, three-fifths, okay? And that's equal to three-fifths. 70 would be... Just looking at that would be equal to 7 tenths. Again, just dealing with tenths. Okay, 80% would also be equal to going along this, looking at we've got 20 is 1 fifth, 40 is 2 fifths, uh, 60 is 3 fifths, 80 then would be 4 fifths. Okay, equal to 4 fifths. Or we could say that it's also equal to 8 tenths as well, just as this could be 5 tenths. 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 4 tenths, 3 tenths, 1 tenth, if you wanted to do it that way. But then 25%, looking at 25%, would be equal to 1 quarter, okay, looking at it in terms of a uh, dollar. And then 75% would be equal to 3 fourths. And then, of course, the obvious one down here at the bottom, um, if we look at the bottom down here, oops, hello, it's not moving down. 100% obviously is equal to one whole. So these are some key, uh, just fractional equivalents that you really need to know and understand. Um, so make sure that you take some time to learn these, to memorize them, to commit them to memory, so that when you see 50% or 0 0.50, you know that's equal to a half. When you see 3 fifths, hey, you know that's 0 0.60 or 60%, okay? These things you need to know. So please make sure you take the time tonight to really look at these and spend just a few minutes. I know this was a short tutorial, but it's a really important one, so make sure that you commit these numbers to your memory. Don't just think, oh, you know what, no big deal, I'll remember them. No, make sure you do remember them. All right, as always, boys and girls, you have been flipped.